Hello. So let's say you have stored some data into a variable. You probably want to do something with it now. One of the things that you might want to do is to display it or to write it into another sheet. Let's see how we can do that. In our example, and you can see how we did that in the previous video, um, we are trying to filter, or we did filter some of the data in here, some of the candidates that we have here, according to the years of experience that they have, the minimum salary that they expect, or the industry in which they work. What I want to do now is to take this filtered data and to paste it in the search sheet. Um, so I want to start, um, I want the data to be pasted uh, in here. So from B10 all the way to G10 and the size of the range that I want to um, paste it in will depend on the uh, number of candidates that I return, right? So let's open our script editor. I will add a comment saying that we want to set the values. That's the name of the methods that we will use. Um, and we want to set the value in the search sheet. So you can see I define, I declare the search sheet here. So that's really um, the sheet um, search. Okay. So I just need to search sheet dot get ranged. And I will use this one. We start from B10. In order to know the number of rows of this range, I just need to know the length of the, um, the variable. Uh, the variable that we will use is filtered data. So I'll just use filtered data dot length. Okay. And to know the number of columns, I can just um, have a look at how many um, columns I stored, so I, I stored six of them. Um, so I have the option to either type six. Um, I can also um, use last column here, or I have the possibility of um, knowing the length of the first array within the filter data array, right? So um, either I would type six last column or filtered data dot zero that's the first array within the filter data array dot length okay now that i've defined that i can set the value values so you have two options you can see you either have set value or set values just be careful here if you select set, set value you will only be able to write one value so in our case we will set we will um, select set values and in here i will um, just select filter data okay i will save my script i will run it so we are filtering the candidates um, that have worked in the finance industry. So if you um, look here, we only have one candidate with finance experience, Barnaby, and is the one that has been um, written in here. If I were to change to, let's say, marketing, let's see what happens. I will run my script again. And I will have the three candidates with marketing experience. Okay, so that works just fine in this case because all of the data that we're writing is in um, consecutive order. So let's say I didn't skip any column that are in here. Uh, it's just exactly the same order. If I where to skip a column or only want to write one of the column, I would have to use a different method. Um, I will do that in the next uh, video with a for loop as well. So um, subscribe if you want to know when the next video will be um, released. And thank you.